Hello friends. Today I am going to talk to you about geocoding in R. Before defining what geocoding is, I would like to give you an interesting example. Imagine you have been given the task of collecting the locations of more than 100 points on Earth. By point, location I mean the latitude and lo longitude in information of those points, of those places. What would you do? You would most likely zoom into the place on Google Earth or a similar software and collect the latitude longitude information. But if this list runs into hundreds, this could be a Herculean task for you. Thanks to softwares that can do this task for us. In R, there is a package called ggmap that connects with the Google map using an API. You have to first install Google package called ggmap, sorry the R package called ggmap and then run this package using the library command. Now you must have all the names of the places for which you desire to have the location information as a vector. So I define P to be a vector that has all the locations. Since it is a factor, it has to be under double inverted commas, quotation marks. Let us run this code. So P is a vector of the name of the cities in Himachal Pradesh, where I did my field work. Suppose there is a city or a place that occurs in more than two provinces in your country. You could mention which province you desire the place to be from and this is the main command called geocode from the package extremely easy let us store these points you can see the command has been run by R it had connected to Google Maps you don't need to understand what it is but the command has been run and what I would be doing next is I would store the points in form of a data frame so that it can be easily used later. I am also storing the name of the places in the same data frame so that um, it can be uh, easily understood. Let us look how the data frame looks like. It is an ordinary data frame just like uh, any Excel sheet or CSV file. And now you can write this data frame back into a CSV file, import it later to a GIS application and do the post processing or whatever analysis you desire to do. You can also do a lot of GIS stuff in R, but that is beyond the scope of this lecture now. Anyways, thanks a lot for patiently listening till the end of the lecture. See you until the next video.